Hi guys, it's Jason Greystone here from Trade Empowered. I just wanted to do a short video to go over the TradingView.com Cypher Pattern Tool. Now we've been getting a lot of questions in Akil's live room from members on why you should use the tool, when you should use it, and what the differences are between the Cypher Tool and the original Advanced Pattern Tool. Now this pattern was discovered by our very own Darren at Trade Empowered. And with the pattern becoming increasingly popular, the guys over at TradingView decided to create a specific tool for the pattern. After we found that, due to unconventional rules of this pattern, the Fibonacci ratios weren't quite correct when drawing out the C and the D legs using the original tool. So I'm going to demonstrate here on a recent trade we took on the Aussie CAD. Um, now... Conventionally, you would use your Fibonacci retracement tool once you think you've identified the cipher pattern. You'd go from X to A, and you'd be looking for that 382 retracement. And then for the C leg, you would use your Fibonacci extension tool from X to A and back down. And you'd be looking for that 127. And you can see that 127 there, uh, at 0.9492 um, so if we was to use the original pattern tool from X to A A to B B to C now you can see when I get to the the 127 you can see it says 1.561 now that's obviously not correct uh, and then you'd be looking for the decompletion down at the 786. Um, so this problem here was causing a lot of traders to say, well, you know, this isn't a cipher pattern. It doesn't come to the 127. Um, my Fibonacci ratios are all wrong. Uh, so now the guys have developed the cipher pattern. If we draw the same pattern here, X to A, A to B, B to C, now you can see we get a 127 and you can see that right at the 786 the cipher pattern kisses that price and shoots away which is why this pattern is so popular. Um, so I hope that clears it, I hope that clears it up for you guys and I would say it is always good practice to get used to going through the process of drawing out the Fibonacci's and stuff. You'll you'll always hear uh, Akil and Jason always saying, you know, swing low, swing high, back down, swing low, swing high, back down, and it's all about repetition and getting that that conventional method locked in your brain. Um, and and I think it's good practice to do that. But I hope this video clears up why and when you should use this cipher pattern tool as opposed to using the other harmonic uh, advanced pattern tool. Um, for more information on learning how to trade the cipher pattern the correct way along with other advanced patterns then you can head over to tradeempowered.com and click on learn to trade but hopefully that clears everything up for everyone and I'll talk to you soon.